after 23 years of marriage, this woman here didn't just only get pregnant. She gave birth to one, two, three, four, five, six. Giving birth to six kids is called what? Quadruplet. Yeah, quadruplet. Six. Four boys and two girls. Her name is Esther from Nigeria. But the state she's from is not really revealed. Six kids after 23 years of not able to conceive. Well, it's a boy here, Adam Slink. Welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And if you are new to this channel, try as much as possible to subscribe and invite your friends. And if you are old, welcome back again. I hope you guys are doing well. After 23 years of not able to conceive, after 23 years of not able to conceive, gave birth to quadruplet, six, four boys, two girls in Niger. Okay, there are so many, many things I want to talk about concerning this issue. It's not an issue concerning this blessing. Sorry for calling it for saying issue concerning these blessings. Well, this is what we call six blessings at, 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 at once. And again, I saw the woman's picture flying around. And also, I think we should also, also praise the man as well. Because... I think mainly is the ability of the man to be able to get that woman pregnant. The same way I, Adam Slick, have constantly advocated that it's not any woman's fault if a man can get her pregnant. I've said this severally. It's not any woman's fault if a man can get that woman pregnant, especially if it was determined that in hospital or the gynecologist determined that there's nothing wrong with that woman. I think it's entirely the man's fault that he can't get a woman pregnant. So the same way I've, 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 I have advocated that we shouldn't be blaming women for not getting pregnant if there's nothing wrong with them. So the same way I think we should give major praise to this man to be able, for his ability to be able to get a woman pregnant for cis kids. It's not easy. And again, the woman as well, to be able to carry such weight. Carry one child is <laughs> not easy. Carrying two, that's a, a double problem. Carrying three, triple problem. Now we are talking about six. Not short for nine months. Come on, man. That woman deserves an award. Look at how tired she is in that picture. Well, if to say Nigeria, I know they go through a lot of issues, eh, I would have advocated. Yes, I'm still advocating that. I think the state where this woman come from should immediately take over the bills of this woman. I think the state should immediately take over all the bills of this woman. But we are going through it. And I hope they're actually listening though. I want to play you a video, eh, honestly. I have never seen such video before of a woman proudly coming out to beg another woman to leave a man alone. You guys will be surprised. The internet eh, is a crazy place. Good morning, guys. Please, guys, help me talk to Four Kelly. Four Kelly, anywhere you are in Asaba with my husband, I, I cost you today. You know go better for you. For you to be doing this to me, I, I just have a baby and you kidnapped my husband since over two weeks now. I swear, I swear with the living God, you will not see good thing in your life. If you don't release my hobby for me, you will not see good thing in your life. Anything you put your hand, it will not be good for you. It will not be good for you because I've shattered you on TikTok. I begged you to send this man back. I just have a baby so that he will come and take care of me and the kids because I can't leave my toddlers at home for the newborn. I can't leave them at home and go to work. He left us and is with you in Asaba. I've been begging you. I've been chatting you on all platforms. I shouted you on WhatsApp and you, uh, you accepted that he's with you and you blocked me. 
Now, I'm calling you out and I'm begging people, anyone that knows you, to tag you, to beg you to release him so that he will come back. Please. It should not be well with you. God will judge you for all these things you do to me. It should not be well with you. There's no good thing that will come to your life. Any if all the old evil things in this world will go to you. As you're making me to cry like this, I've been, I've been, I've spoken to you privately. I've talked to you that you should please. This man is a married man. Let him be. And you insulted me and you blocked me. And you think you will continue to stay with him while I'm here suffering with my kids. Nigerians, please, I beg you, talk to Fort Kelly, talk to her. I have my evidence, I have it on my phone, I have everything. Please, guys, please help me beg her, please. <laughs> now, what for your husband, though? Firstly, your husband see who they, they call Fort Kelly. Listen to the name Fort Kelly. He <laughs> carry four F O K F O C join the Concare Aro Kelly initial joiner. Uh, your husband is a god. <laughs> your husband is a god, honestly. Ah, you know, see Nelly. You know, see Nelly. You know, see Anita. You know, see any other name like Precious, like Krista Bear. Now, for Kelly. Well, okay. You know, uh, we are not taking this matter seriously because we think uh, it's only women that can be kidnapped. I'm, I am going to split it. I'm going to split it with the way I feel about it. A man can be kidnapped as well. And we do not know, we cannot really justify or know if this man was actually kidnapped. If it was a woman, a man came out to call out another man over his wife, I bet you Nigeria will immediately stand up and fight for that man and start tracing where that woman is. Now, because it's a woman crying over her husband and calling out another woman, automatically you guys are quiet. You guys will not take it seriously because we believe a grown up man cannot be kidnapped. A grown up man was kidnapped and his wife is begging the supposed kidnapper. That is a woman for Kelly to release her husband. Then we are not going to listen to her. Firstly, that for Kelly qualified to be a side chick. If that woman has said, leave my boyfriend alone, then I will tell that woman you are you are unserious. Because you are not qualified to call for Kelly a side chick. But as long as they are married, that other woman automatically is a side chick. That woman automatically is a side chick as long as they are married. That woman automatically is a side chick. He qualified to be called a side chick. But let us take this woman seriously. Just maybe in a charm they tell her husband. Just maybe her husband was kidnapped. Let us just think why. Maybe her husband was actually kidnapped by this so-called for Kelly. Let me be her husband was kidnapped. So she need help. She recently gave birth and she cannot go home, to, go out to work. She need help. That man need to come back home so that they can join hands together. She need help. Something is happening somewhere in Asaba. Wait till your husband go fight for Asaba. Asaba girls, they don't tell you how Asaba girls be. Dead are women. <laughs> you can't go see the one made a beer for Kelly. <laughs> you carry F F O C. Come join Aro Kelly. Nisha join her. Uh, it's gonna. It's a gonna, guys. Fuck Kelly. <laughs> I bet for Kelly leave her husband alone. I need to see this for Kelly, honestly. Me, I see how. So you can comfortably stay with someone's husband who gave, who his wife gave birth recently. And you think the same thing will not happen to you. Ah, now wow. Guess, eh? You forget the golden rule. You forgot the golden rule. There's one golden rule. Eh? The broom made the tape beat first wife. Now the same broom, now they go take beat second wife. Now the same broom, now they go take beat third wife. Even the fourth wife. 
That, that is the golden rule. That is karma. A strong karma that has always been there. You forgot it. So for Kelly Abe, release, release the man. Release the man. Eh? I've never seen such case before. I've never. <laughs> well, we shouldn't take it as play. -o. A man can be kidnapped by a woman. We have seen stories when a man uh, having a family somewhere traveled to another place to just hang out. He saw a girl and he and that girl chill out. Before you know it's 10 years don't pass. The jazz go come up for the man high. The man will come discover, say, the man will just discover, say, he don't bore like 20 children. Or he don't get like 30 children for another family. Make him no no for another woman, may no no. Then he will start tracing this, his first family. We have seen instances like that. We have seen story of women using jazz to hypnotize man that will last for 10 years, 20 years. Even some say it, it has lasted for 40 years. The man hypnotist will just clear overnight and the man will discover that he is with a family he never intended getting married to and have uh, like eight to six children. We have, had, we have seen that such story before. So that man needs help. Oh. The only way that man will take to say, okay, for Kelly, no kidnap that man. And if that man come outside to toss, say, see, I wasn't kidnapped by anybody. I wasn't hypnotized. I am fine. So, for Kelly, you can sleep one side and one useless man is sleeping beside. Well, side chicks do not care about if the man is useless. You understand? <laughs> side chicks do not click here they know exactly their gain on those kind of things so i'm not going to start talking about what and what and what you do well you know do well side chicks do not give a damn about you they only go for what they want so for kelly i beg you release the man release the man for kelly please release the man for kelly release him please